So just what is the difference between law of attraction and quantum manifestation? Are they really all that different or is it just how we're approaching it? Stick, stick around and we'll talk about that, okay? Hi, I'm Marna. Thank you for joining me. So what we're talking about today is the differences between law of attraction versus quantum manifestation. And I apologize for the camera moving, that's the wind, not me. So what we've got is when you're working with law of attraction, which to be honest was the first manifestation method that I learned, law of attraction is based entirely on the belief that what you think about, you bring about. Fine, good, works for a number of people. However, you also have people like me who sit there and say, but why? And that's where quantum manifesting comes in. So in law of attraction, what you're doing is you are focusing on what you want to bring into your life and then you are letting it come to you. That works great. The, the more you focus on it, the sooner you're going to see it in your real life. In quantum manifesting, you understand that what you're doing is by creating specific thought patterns, you're creating quantum energy fields in your own energetic field that then interact on the quantum level with energetic fields elsewhere. By that interaction, then the things that you are manifesting into your life are drawn into you. It's a very subtle difference, but it is a difference. And here's how it shows up. People who focus on law of attraction tend to believe that all they really need to do is keep their focus and what they're attracting will come to them. That is the slow way of doing things. It takes longer. It's not as easily controlled. It's not as measured a response as you get from using quantum manifestation. When you're using quantum manifestation, you are constantly experimenting with the energy that you put out. You are aware of exactly what energetic response you are putting into the universe. And by modifying the energetic response you put out, you will also modify the response that comes into you. This means that you have a great deal more power and control when it comes to things like speeding up your manifestation, exactly how your manifestation is going to appear, uh, how it is going to affect the people around you when it comes in. Because let's face it, if you just sit there and wish for a hundred bucks to suddenly drop into your lap, that can have an effect on the people who are around you who may be wondering why they didn't get their hundred bucks too. By using quantum manifestation, we have greater control over the results that we get. So whereas law of attraction, you may be focusing on get on that really cool car that you've been eyeing and you may see it drive by you 20 times. Quantum manifestation is what's going to put the keys directly into your hand and open the door so you can take it out for a spin. Again, very subtle difference, but in the long run, it does create a difference in the way things are done. Now then, if you want to have any, you know, coaching, cheerleading, whatever, on moving forward with quantum manifestation, because it is, you know, a little bit on the more scientific side. I literally wrote the book. I wrote a book called Quantum Metaphysics. It's available on Amazon or, and this is something I'm only offering to people who watch my videos. If you email me, I will ship you a copy of it for just the shipping and hand handling. Send me an email, Marna, Marna Renee at gmail.com. I've got it down in the link below and I will be happy to send it to you for the cost of shipping and handling. And you know, I'll be more than happy to sit and talk to you all day long about exactly what quantum manifestation is and how you can control exactly what it is that you're manifesting in your life. So I'm Marna and I will see you on the next video.